above 149.00. Alright guys, I'm stopping the video now, I'm pausing it and then I will update um, as soon as anything happens. Bye bye. Hi guys, this is Sector. Today is uh, May the 8th of 2007. It's at 10 a.m. Uh, Euro time. Trading the London session right now. This is an update on the trade I currently uh, I am currently in. Is the Eurocat four hours chart. Um, I've, we've just hit the uh, the uh, previous uh, day's uh, low, right at uh, 149.50 round number uh, psychological uh, support. So I've just closed uh, on my live account uh, half of my position four plus 35. Pips, okay, entry was at 149.90 um, uh, minus the spread, that's uh, f uh, 35 pips profit on the first half. I'm going to let the second half run to 149.10 uh, for a total of plus 80, if it gets triggered, of course, um, for my second half. So, so far, 35 pips uh, uh, banked. Uh, uh, banks out of the uh, of the market. Uh, stop is moved to break even. Um, so now it's a free trade and aiming for a full plus 80 pips uh, on this position. All right, I will keep on updating. Bye bye. Hi guys, um, this is Sector again. It's a quick update on the uh, trade that I'm currently in, the uh, Eurocat um, in the 4 hours chart. Um, I'm going to close the trade right now. In fact, I have closed it already on my, on my uh, live account. Um, at plus 40 on the second half of the position and plus 35 on the first half because um, I, I believe I've been a little bit uh, over um, ambitious with my second target. Um, I'm going to wait uh, for price to uh, get back to the um, area of dynamic uh, support and resistance, all right, uh, to uh, cheaper uh, levels, perhaps around here. I want to I wanna see a retrace before rejoining the downtrend. And the reasons as of why I'm go I say I've been a little bit over um, uh, ambitious is because um, uh, let's uh, have a look at the previous swing, okay, from here to here, all right, all the way down here, and then it retraced up there, okay, the projection of the previous swing into the new swing right there is being touched to the pip, you see right there, that's the full potential projection, okay, as far as I personally mentioned, uh, uh, measure uh, price targets. Um, so, uh, we are finding some, um, some resistance, okay, we are forming a four hours hammer in the, uh, in the four hours chart and uh, that signifies uh, that we might see a little bounce all the way up here to entry levels, okay, right there to uh, all the way up to retest the uh, 150 uh, double O area for a new swing down perhaps. Uh, at any case, we are finding some support at the uh, logical um, uh, pr uh, price pattern projection right there. And um, I have 41 pips for today. Um, plus uh, 35 on the first half, 45, uh, 41 on the uh, second half. Uh, I'm seeing some um, conflicting uh, info, uh, conflicting signals uh, in the uh, other uh, Canadian cross that I'm following right now. Have a look at this. This is the uh, USD Canadian dollar. Right now, we are finding also support of the decade number 110.00, uh, decade numbers are 110, 120, etc. Okay. If I always mention that uh, round numbers are, um, they do work as support and resistance, uh, decade numbers, they do even more so. We form a double bottom of the decade number. I would not be surprised to see the USD cat all the way back here to uh, one. 1050, uh, we have a number of, uh, of elements working as, um, 
as a resistance right there. I will search for a, for a new uh, swing down from there for a short entry on the shorter time frames. Uh, but for the time being, I am seeing some uh, support at this level. So I would not be surprised to see a retrace all the way up there. And that might, um, uh, in fact, uh, influence the uh, price behavior on the uh, euro cat okay so I've cashed in my 40 pips all right and I'm gonna let it you know uh, complete this swing and then search around this area for it around the one five hundred um, the 1.50 uh, double O uh, area for a new swing town okay so first half of the attract plus 35 second half plus 40 easy trade as you can see I entered around there all the way down my stop loss was there never got challenged um, easy trade stays stress free that's what happens when you trade in the direction of the um, of the market of the overall market sentiment okay uh, trades as I always explain in my, my trading course in my website uh, it, trading gets so much easier just so much easier you just need to find a, a nice entry and the market sentiment, that's the rest of the job for you. All right, guys. Goodbye.